Hey guys, welcome back to this particular episode of Behind the Stock Unscripted. Now, October hasn't been a very good month for Facebook. Or we should now call it better. Two major things happen. The Facebook outage and whistleblower testimony all happening back to back. Now, on 4th of October, Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, and WhatsApp unexpectedly went offline for over 6 hours. The company said that it wasn't a cause by malicious activity. Instead, it was due to an error during routine maintenance on Facebook network of data centers. Now, the impact is significant because billions of people use Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. In fact, many also rely on these apps for work. Not only that, in that week, on the 8th of October, a second outage happened. Apparently, it was due to another faulty configuration change which caused a 2 hours disruption. All these were also happening while Facebook was already in a spotlight due to the documents leaked by whistleblower Frances Hogan. She was a product manager at Facebook. And she left the company with thousands of pages of internal research and documents with details about content moderation, special treatment of high-profile accounts, and the toxic impact of Instagram on Tingles. The whistleblower documents were first reported by the Wall Street Journal and it put Facebook under heavy scrutiny from the public. Now, Francis Hogan testified on 5th October to a panel of the Senate Commerce Committee. Of course, I won't go into much detail about it, but in short, she claimed that Facebook is misleading the public on progress against hate speech, violence, and misinformation. Of course, Mark Zuckerberg, however, publicly addressed her testimony about the company. He said that the acquisition about Facebook prioritizing profit over the user safety are just not true. Now, with all this, Facebook share price has been dropping. So as investor, what is the implications on the future? Facebook can still buy or not. Those already bought, should we hold or sell? Now, let's take a look at their latest quarter three earnings report and also their future plans. Daily active users increase 6% year over year, monthly active users increase 6% year over year, family monthly active people increase of 11% year over year. Facebook also repurchased 14.37 billion in stocks during the third quarter and announced an additional 50 billion US dollar in share buyback. While revenue increased 33%, they slightly missed on revenue estimation. They reported 29 billion dollars of revenue versus the 29.45 billion expected. This is because their advertising revenue was impacted by the change in Apple's privacy rules. Now, with the iOS 14 update, apps like Facebook and Instagram had to ask users to opt into tracking when their app is first launched. If users opt out, it will make ads a lot less effective. Facebook previously did warn investors that these changes could hurt the advertising business. As for the future plan, Facebook is making a shift from a social company to something called a metaverse in the coming years. I mean, well, it sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, but this term is becoming a buzzword in tech and business. The metaverse is something like a virtual online space where people can meet, attend events, meetings, and working with each other more using avatars. Now, Zuckerberg described the metaverse as an internet that you are inside of rather than just looking at it. Facebook is spending at least $10 billion this year on their metaverse division, which is the Facebook Reality Labs. They previously invested heavily in VR and the AR, including buying companies like Oculus. And this year, they created a product team to work on the metaverse. They also have plans to hire 10,000 employees in Europe over the next five years to work on this initiative. According to Zuckerberg, in the meantime, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp remain as their focus. They are also especially focused on attracting young adults aged 18 to 29 via the new feature reels. The next priority then is commerce. By helping people to discover new products that they are interested in, reach customers inside their apps. As Apple changed their privacy rules, e-commerce and customer acquisition is less effective on the web. The solutions that allow businesses to set up shop right inside Facebook apps will become increasingly attractive and more important to them. So beyond reels and commerce, Facebook will also focus on long-term efforts to build the next computing platform and bring the metaverse to life. The key is that the Facebook is investing for the future. The stock could struggle in the short term to overcome the ad revenue weakness and increase costs for the metaverse future. But we could take this as an advantage of 
any price weakness to add more shares. So personally for me, I think that Facebook is still a good decent company, but they are facing some regulatory challenges. They are currently in a position where they generate profits and cash flow from their advertising business and they are reinvesting into the next stage of growth which is e-commerce and metaverse. While it is a good growth plan, e-commerce is a competitive space and metaverse will need more years to actualize. So I will continue hold my position. So what about you, right? What's your thoughts? Maybe comment below in the comments so that I can also learn from you as well. If you think that this video is meaningful for you, please share it with your friends and family so that they can learn as well. Of course, do remember to actually click on the subscribe button so that you will not miss out my future video. Until then, I'm Alex and goodbye.